So I'm arguing that the public is really ripe for a populist economic program that races of diminished significance uh, in politics, which makes it uh, less easy for the right to play that card against the uh, uh, against uh, progressives. Um, so if you were going to design uh, a presidential campaign from the Democratic side so as to minimize the chances of actually winning, what would you do? Well, first of all, um, races of diminished significance but not gone. So you'd go ahead and run an African-American candidate. Uh, the economic issues are uh, really playing in a populist direction. So you'd run a candidate who talks a lot about unity and, and has kind words to say for Republican governance in the past. Um, uh, and uh, health care being really essential, so you'd have a candidate who is actually kind of soft on universal health care and actually runs Harry and Louise type ads against his Democratic opponents. All right. Now that, Against that, you have to say, look, this guy who's got enormous political uh, talent, an incredibly eloquent uh, speaker, but, but I do worry a lot. I think that the, um, uh, inside the, the likely nomination of, of Barack Obama is, uh, is not, uh, puts the Democrats in, in a far weaker position than I had imagined. I was thinking about a generic Democrat running for, for office. And I think a generic Democrat would easily win this election. Unfortunately, you have to pick an actual person. And the, the actual person is, is, uh, is likely to be, uh, uh, you know, uh, ha I think has serious weaknesses. And we can argue about that. And I guess we'll, we won't, we'll, we'll really find out in November. But I, I have, uh, I've got a kind of a bad feeling about, about the way this thing has, has gone, which is not, you know, about, uh, Obama being a bad guy or anything, but it is just a concern about, uh, you know, this is tempting fate in a, in a sense. The Democrats have, have in a way gone in precisely the direction that, that minimizes the, uh, the great advantages they have.